Oh, Iron Cross, where does one even begin? You seem to simultaneously display stupidity, arrogance, and hypocrisy. Let's start with your interactions with South Dakota Girl. This is a good example of your behavior towards Christians of a more moderate faith. Those more reasonable people who don't go along with your fire and brimstone fundamentalism. You tend to state such people aren't real Christians. Well, let's see how Christianity is defined. Let me quote two definitions of this word in the context of a person. A person who believes in Jesus Christ, adherent of Christianity, and a person who exemplifies in his or her life the teachings of Christ, an example, he died like a true Christian. The consensus among Christians seems to be a belief in and accepting Jesus as one's personal savior, including his divinity, resurrection, etc. So, going by that, you are using the no true Scotsman fallacy. You are excluding people from a group based on non-definitive characteristics. Your scriptural litmus test is not definitive of Christianity. Only someone not being a believer and follower of Jesus, as I stated above, could be considered to not be a Christian. You state things in a very arrogant and judgmental way, which seems to be at odds with the vast majority of the teachings of Jesus and his general overarching message. I am going to show that you are proving you don't fit one of the definitions of the word Christian, that being a person who exemplifies in his or her life the teachings of Christ. Look at the quotes directly attributed to Jesus in the Bible. Did he or did he not advocate being humble and accepting of people? Did he or did he not speak out against arrogant pride and being judgmental? Did he or did he not further condemn the hypocrisy of those being judgmental? Did he or did he not associate with all manner of people deemed to be sinners. Was it, blessed is the arrogant bully who holds his fellow Christians as well as most other people in contempt? Or was it, blessed is the peacemaker? Is the meek or the haughty and arrogant going to inherit the earth? You seem to be loudly sounding your trumpet and praying on the street corners as a hypocrite for your own glory rather than praying in private. This is quite contrary to the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 6. So, it seems to me that while South Dakota Girl and many other moderate Christians fit all the definitions of Christianity, Iron Cross does not. It does not sound like he is a person who exemplifies in his life the teachings of Christ. So, while he may still be a Christian, he is less of a Christian than those he disparages. So, there you have it, Iron Cross. You are demonstrably a hypocritical, arrogant ass based on the given criteria. It seems to imply stupidity, too, but that requires a little more. Let's move on to the way you seem to go with the pathetic shock of God style apologetics, which is the absolute bottom of the barrel. At least with someone like MIG Killer 2 or Veritas 48, you have only the, the uh, obligatory argument from ignorance and presupposition common to all apologetics. Otherwise, they're all fairly sophisticated philosophical arguments. Atheism being accurate and correct does not even make sense as stated. It's the negative proof fallacy, for one. Secondly, it is correct simply because there is no, re no reason to believe in any gods. How do you even know about the concept of God? 
It's out of an ancient book, isn't it? There is nothing but the book's own word saying it is true. That sort of circular logic is not evidence of anything. People's concept of God is clearly the communication of an idea that originated in the minds of people. There is no other source of knowledge anyone can point to. So the religious take it on nothing but blind faith. It's even called a faith. So that is why not theism or atheism is accurate and correct. Yet you seem far too stupid to grasp this. Besides, if such a being did exist, how can you have any degree of certainty what it wants? An ancient book full of contradictions written by superstitious primitives? Yet you have the arrogant certitude, which comes only from a breathtaking level of stupidity that you are right. It allows you to feel justified telling lies about atheists and disparaging moderate Christians. Iron Cross, you are a truly shameful and wretched excuse for a human being.